Why does somebody go from being a 27 year retired police sergeant to an Uber driver in Miami, Florida? Well, this video is gonna share the story of Mr. Robert Bart and his, his uh, tale that takes him from a police sergeant to becoming an Uber driver. And stick around to the end of the video because I'm gonna share with you why for many of us retirement is just a myth. Hey everybody, it's Jay Crater, and let's talk about Mr. Robert Bart. So this is Robert Bart, and I had the privilege of interviewing him for my Rideshare Dojo podcast. Robert was a police sergeant for 27 years. He was on the police force in Broward County, Florida, and he retired. His wife retired from what she was doing, and they were going to start a play school together, which they did. But then Robert found himself late at night uh, up because from working on the police force he was used to working nights and he was kind of bored and just watching Netflix and that's when it dawned on him that retirement wasn't all it's cracked up to be and he could be out there driving for Uber and Lyft making some more extra money and meeting some interesting people that's how it all began so let's talk about Robert's car it's a beautiful car as you can see here in the picture and this allows Robert to not only do Uber X, but also Uber um, SUV, right? So he can uh, uh, make, a, make more money on those particular rides. So what's the biggest challenge for Robert? Number three, Robert does not like uh, doing Uber pool. It's not profitable for him. He's got a car that gets 16 miles per gallon. And with the Uber pool, he's doing a lot of starting and stopping and it just doesn't really make him any money. Uh, he would prefer it if Uber allowed him to split the Uber pool from the Uber X so he could just do one and not both. So what's the best part of being a driver? Best part of being a driver is meeting the passengers. So again, Robert, rather than sitting around at home watching Netflix, is now out there driving around and having these great conversations with people. As a police sergeant, police officer, he got to talk to a lot of people and got very comfortable you know, talking to folks. And by being an Uber driver, he gets to continue with that. And he's finding that to be the most enjoyable part of the job. Number five, I asked, you know, what's, what's the biggest uh, lesson? I always want to find out what people are learning while they're driving for Uber and Lyft. And in Robert's case, it's learning how to become a good listener that we have the opportunity as drivers to become really good at listening, which is such a valuable skill. And once you can learn to become a good listener, to actually listen to people, to stop your own chatter and, and just focus on somebody else, boy, that shows up in, like really great, not only with you as a driver, but in your relationships, in your business. Uh, if you have a boss, how you interact with your boss. If you have employees, how you interact with your employees. So huge, huge lesson. Every single day that we're out there driving, we have the opportunity to become better listeners. So what's the key takeaway here? Retirement, not all it's cracked up to be. For many of us, well, I can only speak for myself. I don't plan to ever retire because uh, I really enjoy what I do. And from what I've seen, people who retire, they tend to just, their life force just sort of drivels away. You know, I haven't seen a lot of successful retirees who are like really feeling full of life and vim and vigor. And, uh, and I've actually seen a lot of people who retire and then they seem to die pretty quickly afterwards. So this idea of having a purpose in life, of doing something, finding something that you're really interested in, something that you can contribute out there, that seems to keep us alive and healthy and vibrant and the quality of life is better. And what Robert found uh, is that he tried the retirement uh, in his mid-50s, and it was boring, and he just didn't enjoy it. So now he's happy again, because he's out there doing the driving thing, uh, and, and meeting great people, and having all these great stories to share. So those are the key takeaways. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you liked it, give it a like, share a comment, tell me what you think about retiring. If you've not subscribed yet to our channel, go ahead and subscribe. We put out three to four pieces of good video content every single week. Y'all go ahead and have a great day. Be safe out there.